Becky with Crooked Arrow Ranch. And I'm Emily with Wee Ranch Silkies. And welcome to our first Farmer, Farmer Friday. Friday. So the other day, Emily was over at the house and she and I were talking about a picture I had posted on Facebook about Miss Olive here um, jumping the fence and getting into my garden. This chicken ate her tomatoes, got into her cucumbers, dust bathed in her green beans, caused all kinds of damage. It was ridiculous. So <laughs> needless to say, I decided it was time to clip some wings. I was really surprised at how many people reached out asking if I could show them how to do it. After chatting about it, we realized how often it happens to us. We get questions all the time on poultry care, gardening, all things related to this homestead lifestyle that we both live. We thought it would be really fun to make some videos for you guys from all of our favorite tips and tricks from hatching eggs to starting seeds. So with all of the interest on the wing clipping post, we thought that this would be a perfect opportunity to start our series. So if you're interested in learning how we do wing clipping, stay tuned. So first let's talk pros and cons. Like most things, there's a time and a place and wing clipping may or may not be for you. Like our specific farm, we have very distinct breeding pens. So we have our Americana pens, we have our Black Copper Moran pens. We can't have our Black Copper Morans jump in fence, and then I won't be able to get you guys purebred birds. And I live outside of Winchester, and I free range most of my birds, and I want them to be able to fly and get away quickly from things such as hawks or coyotes. And of course, for those of you who live in town, maybe wing clipping will make sense for you if you don't have a fully enclosed pen. So it's going to help you keep them contained. It's going to help you keep them out of the roadways, keep them out of your flower beds, because I know that was a very big, important piece for quite a few of you. So, and then in general, it's just going to help keep them out of harm's way. So of course, think about your specific situation and if wing clipping makes sense for you, stay tuned. So let's dive right in. You only need three things. Trusty partner, a beautiful model, and a good pair of meat shears. So these ones are from my butcher block in my kitchen. Uh, I like them because they're made to cut into bone. So they're gonna go through your feathers really easy. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give you guys an up close and personal on how to clip wings. So what we have here is our primary flight feathers and then you have your secondary feathers. So there's two main pieces that we're gonna pay attention in order to find the correct feathers on wing clipping. So you're gonna follow the wing bone down to this joint. So this is the, the part that moves, the little chicken wing part that we all have kind of felt on. Anyway, so you're gonna follow it down and it will literally separate your primary feathers and your secondary feathers. So again, you feel from that bone and you just kind of take your finger and follow it all the way down and it will separate it every single time, your primary feathers and your secondary feathers. So the next part that we're gonna pay attention to is Olive here has a beautiful set of feathers right here and those are gonna be your guide. That is gonna tell you exactly where you wanna make your cut. So that way you don't get too short and you don't hurt your birds. So again, you're gonna come right in here. You're gonna find that line and you're just gonna make a swift cut. Again, this doesn't hurt them. And you just follow that line. You cut all the way across. And again, it does not hurt them. And you have a perfect cut every time. You have your primary feathers are gone. Your secondary feathers are still there. And you're right on that beautiful line. So as you guys saw, that's super simple. Anybody can do it. Remember, this doesn't hurt your birds at all. It's as simple as cutting your own nails. As long as you stay right below those guide feathers, you won't have any problems. We're going to be getting you these videos every Friday. And if you guys can think of any videos that you would want to see, any topics, any specific topics, shoot us a message, comment below, and let us know. So until next time, happy, happy Farmer, Farmer Friday! Friday. <laughs>